road test at the Salem Foods Memorial Arena. ECHL action from last night. Sam Kings home to the Idaho Steelheads game. One of a three-game set. This was the first home game in 17 days for the Sam Kings, who are riding a three-game winning streak into last night's dump. Let's check it out. A hard-fought game. And the Kings' Josh Aspen Lind lines up Steelheads player, but it's Aspen Lind who loses his lid and the battle and the red guy back at the ring. Thank goodness wearing shorts this time. Sam Kings open the scoring in the first hit will be the new guy in the power play. Garth Murray in his first game, his first goal with the Sam Kings. Good Rajatic kid makes it one nothing. Home team. Sam Kings look to make it two donut late first, but this one off a skate and in, so no goal there. Still one nothing after the first. Second and the other new player for the Sam Kings, Gord. Do not call me Carol Burnett. Gets into a scrap with Adam Huxley. These two exchange a little pre-Christmas cheer. Back to the red guy, who teams up with Marty the Marmot. Doing a little dancing last night. The Cotton Eye Joe, I believe. Steelheads tie this game. Uh, final minute of the second. John Scott Dixon beats David Johns to make it 1-1 after two. But in the third, ugly here. Veteran Marty Flickle gets the winner. Right off the faceoff, off the Kings defenseman Derek Martin skate and pass Johns. That would be it. 2-1 Idaho, the final snapping the Salmon Kings, three Salmon Kings. Three-game win streak, game two of three will go tomorrow night. Of course, the Salmon Kings are affiliated with the Vancouver Canucks and the Manitoba Moose. And at last night's game, Manitoba Moose general manager Craig Heisinger was in town. He comes into Victoria once or twice each season to have a look at not only at the Salmon Kings, but their opposition as well. Be here to see. I know you don't like saying names, but uh, you know, just I know David Chance would probably be one one guy that you're excited to see. Yeah, I mean, we're here to see both teams. We we, we scout the East Coast League extensively, and I mean, Victoria is our partner, but um, Idaho's always got a good team, so it's an opportunity to to see two teams and pay attention to the guys not only that we have under contract but Vancouver has under contract but the other part of that is contracts have ne never dictated who got recalled and um, contracts aren't going to dictate who recalls if somebody specifically in Victoria is outplaying a contracted player then he'll get the opportunity.